Hello guys. Welcome back to Abstronic Circuit Tutorial. The TL494 IC is dual inline package with a total of 16 pins. The rated voltage from 7 to 40 volt. The IC with built-in to comparator from the internal circuit. Pin 1 and pin 2. The comparator 1 and pin 15 and 16. The comparator 2. Pin 1 and pin 16. The non-inverting input Pin 2 and pin 15, the inverting input. If the AC signal feeding from the non-inverting input, then the output will be the same with the input. Both input and output are in phase in 100 80 degree. That is the reason why we call it the non-inverting input. But when the signal feeding from the inverting input, then the signal output will be inverted at 180 degrees out of pace. That is why the name suggests inverting input. Pin 3, the feedback, it is connected from the output both comparator 1 and comparator 2. Pin 4, is DTC dead time control when the DTC connected to the ground then the polling edge of the signal will be minimum on the other hand when the DTC connected to high then the polling edge will be longer or to control the duty cycle. Pin 5 is the CT or the timing capacitor while pin 6 is the RT timing resistor both CT and RT is used to control the signal frequency. Pin 7 is the ground. Pin 8, the collector. And pin 9, the emitter of the transistor 1 from the internal circuit. Either the collector or the emitter will be the output. Depending on the circuit design, C2 and E2, the collector emitter of the transistor 2. Pin curve is the BCC. Pin 13 the output control. Pin 14, the voltage reference with a maximum voltage 5 volt. Let turn on the switch. The TL494 has two output with a pulse width 
modulation signal. The output can be on and off at the same time when pin 13 connected to pin 14. As you can see right now. Or it could be a parallel output signal. Simply it means the output 1 and the output 2 will be on and off at the same time. When pin 13 is connected from pin 14. Let's try turn off the button switch. Now you can see the output will be parallel on and off at the same time. Now let's test in the actual circuit. 